Only at five, a self-driving car slapped with a ticket after a close call on a San Francisco street. Police say the car was too close to a pedestrian. Well, now we're hearing from the company itself. KPIX5 reporter Jackie Ward is on Harrison Street in San Francisco where this all happened. Jackie? Liz and Ken, this happened just one day after a woman was killed by a self-driving car in self-driving mode in Arizona. So that's why it got the attention of one of our viewers who saw the autonomous car pulled over and getting a ticket. Not sure why it happened, but it's going to happen a lot, I think. This is the picture Kevin O'Connor snapped as he was driving through Soma last week. An SFPD motorcycle officer pulled over a self-driving car. There was another car stopped alongside and he looked a little befuddled and cop is just in back writing a regular ticket like they always do. The car belongs to the San Francisco based company Cruise. The company claims the pedestrian was 10.8 feet away from the car when, while the car was in self driving mode, it began to continue down Harrison at 14th Street. Shortly after the car accelerated, police pulled it over. In a statement, Cruise says, quote, Safety is our priority in testing our self driving vehicles. California law requires the vehicle to yield the right of way to pedestrians, allowing them to proceed undisturbed and unhurried without fear of interference of their safe passage through an intersection. Our data indicates that's what happened here. The pedestrian involved did not get hurt. It happened a day after this when an Uber car in self driving mode hit and killed a woman crossing the street outside a crosswalk in Tempe, Arizona. It's incidents like these that make people like Kevin skeptical about whether self driving cars will ever be safe enough. To me, it's almost impossible. I, I just don't see it happening unless every car was autonomous. Cruz says that the driver that was inside this vehicle at the time of the incident is now responsible for that citation. San Francisco police did not get back to us about commenting on this case. Ken? Yeah, um, we saw in Tempe uh, there was a driver aboard and who apparently did nothing or did very little, it looks from the video. The company claims in this case the human test driver did everything right, but police still issued a ticket. Yeah, that's right. So Cruz says that because the vehicle was 10.8 feet away from the pedestrian, that was a safe enough distance where the pedestrian was never in harm. And even though all drivers are in the car to make sure all of the laws are followed, this driver, in Cruz's opinion, did nothing wrong. Obviously, police think otherwise. Back to you. All right, Jackie Ward in San Francisco. Thanks, Jackie.